Hey, I think uh, it's a good time for us to start. Hey, how are you, everyone? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I believe that some of you might come from a different time zone. I we do notice that the registrants are coming from like different continents, so you're being very supporting. If the if, if the time is not good for the time zone now, so we welcome you to uh, this webinar. So uh, my name is Alex. Uh, I am uh, one of the uh, uh, team member for the product team for Mouseite, which is. Uh, uh, a camera manufacturer. So today we are very delighted to welcome you to today's webinar. So uh, this is going to be a webinar co-hosted by Myosite and 3DI. So uh, in the past decades, the video surveillance industry has been you know, changing a lot and extended to various verticals, including some new technology we have been seeing in this industry, like the, including the optical and imaging technology and AI technology. So, but from a broader perspective, we also can notice that cloud computing and like various cloud services has been also been advancing rapidly. So at the, end of, at the end of the day, the integration of cloud and video surveillance will be inevitable. So it's actually happening now and it's expanding. So I believe like many of our participants today are already utilizing or experiencing at least you are following the cloud video surveillance solutions, right? So today this is what the theme of this webinar is about. We would like to embrace these transformations. So we are very thrilled to have found and integrated our solution with 3DI, who is a major cloud video surveillance solution provider in the world. So uh, to uh, announce this uh, uh, integration between the two platforms, so the webinar will be go through the, like the following agendas. So uh, as a start, we do invite our guest speaker, Catherine, who is the CRO and board member, a board director from 3DI to uh, give us something, uh, explanation on the cloud platform, laying out issues and how 3DI uh, as a pure cloud platform can help scaling without additional hardware installation. And then we also invite uh, president of uh, MGI International, uh, who, who is uh, like a, a mutual partner of Mouse and 3DI. And 3 so he will be here to speak from his perspective and his experience on how he think about Mouse and 3DI integrations and how MGI International is actually leveraging the Mouse and 3DI integration to achieve bandwidth saving. And then it will be me who is a uh, giving a further speech about the Milesite camera lineup to besides integration. So what camera solutions are offered by Milesite. And during the host uh, presentation, we encourage everyone to use the Q&A feature provided by Zoom to submit your questions. So we have uh, uh, technical uh, colleagues from both Milesite and 3DI team standing by, respond to your questions. So yeah, if you have any question related to the cameras or related to the 3DI, Cloud VS platform, you can even like tag you know, what the question is about, and we have the re relative uh, standby technique uh, te technicals will be answering your questions. And but still, if there's any question unaddressed uh, during the the Q and A uh, during the process, we still have a five minutes Q and A uh, session so that I can do some uh, verbal answering to your questions. But still, I would like to also ask you to pay attention and be attentive uh, during the whole throughout the whole process because we are going to have a prize quiz at the end of the uh, webinar. So there's going to be uh, three questions. So anyone who like answer the three questions, three quiz, all correctly and submit the question in the in the shortest time, we will have the chance to win the the prizes. Okay, so it's going to be a high end mile side cameras with the uh, 30 days free trial for 3DI. So yeah, it's a very good deal. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I would like to uh, ask Catherine, uh, that's the CRO from 3DI. So the stage is yours. You can start to uh, talk about the cloud and 3DI. Thank you, Alex. Good morning, everyone. Good evening. My name is Catherine Balabanova. I'm the CRO and board director of 3DI. Excited to be here today, really, with uh, Duncan Miller, our long-term partner and customer and Alex Lin, uh, our partners uh, from Mileside, the camera manufacturer that really does great job with the bandwidth savings for our clients and industry at large. 
Equally excited to thank uh, our team who worked on this event uh, and uh, a lot of clients uh, in presence and everyone who made today uh, to join. And that's a lot of countries. Uh, we can see USA, Canada, Australia, Mexico, Denmark, Brazil, Italy, France, Hungary, Czech Republic, Belgium, to name a few. Uh, the Milesight and 3D iCloud enabled cameras uh, address uh, key pain points uh, that many in our industry face today. And these are three points, limited connectivity uh, in uh, remote areas, high bandwidth costs, and uh, complex hardware setup with the challenge of uh, scaling camera installations. To put the significance of these issues into perspective, I'd like to quote a couple of stats. So the uh, number of surveillance cameras installed globally are uh, 1.2 billion and projected to grow to 2 billion by 2030. To zoom in on where we are in Americas, according to the same source, there are around 200 million cameras installed and half of them in the USA. But only 3% of these installations are connected to the cloud and easily accessible. So think about it, staggering 97% of cameras still rely on outdated on-premise systems with limited outside access for monitoring centers to reach. But the tide is turning and the market for video surveillance as a service is growing 26% CAGR and will double by 2027. So to choose between the false alarms and uh, uh, a, a real threat, the operators will increasingly be using live video monitoring and video verification. In fact, in 2023, uh, cloud and uh, software as a service and security industry outperformed NASDAQ and S&P 500, according to Imperial Capital. So these are a couple of facts that give you food for thought to size up the business opportunity in front of us. And all of this is to underscore that video surveillance and monitoring industry is transitioning rapidly to the cloud connected systems with analytical processing. And that's why we're here today talking about the timely combined 3DI and Milesight integration that helps to achieve three things really, to eliminate the need of on-premise hardware for scalability of your system, to leverage AI for cloud video analytics in the face of growing camera streams to analyze, and finally, to optimize bandwidth usage to help with the connectivity issue. 3DI is helping to achieve the first and the second, while mile side cameras are tackling the third charge. 3DI is approaching the video surveillance as a service architecture with what we call pure cloud concept. It means three main things. Firstly, you connect any camera without any intermediary hardware like bridges and expensive servers. And that should be the previous slide really, Alex, because we're talking about the advantages of the pure cloud concept. So there are no boxes to set up. And it's also a plug and play camera to cloud scenario that you can easily scale. Secondly, all of the storage and AI processing is happening on the cloud. In our case, it's AWS infrastructure. 3DI platform leverages the cloud AI network effect to maximize relevancy and precision of those analytics. The model sizes are not restricted and you can rely on such analytics for decision-making. Ultimately, with the exponential growth of data and continuous training, the mode between the cloud-based and edge-based systems will continue to expand. And with such cloud analytics, you can make any connected camera smarter by simply activating a module of choice on a camera through your cloud account. Thirdly, 3DI platform um, processes the live streams in a distributed form. So unlimited number of users can access those streams. This allows for higher degree of scalability as any number of viewers can access the stream simultaneously without experiencing issues related to the bandwidth or quality. In contrast, 
only a limited number of people can access age-based camera systems. And the quality will be limited due to the bandwidth constraints. While this approach may work uh, for a, a few people viewing outside uh, um, of the local network, it quickly becomes a scalability issue when multiple viewers need to uh, access multiple camera streams from outside of the local network. And this is when the ISP bandwidth becomes a bottleneck. So think about the uh, um, several stores, for example. Um, each of them would have uh, like 16 cameras and uh, uh, your owner and manager and uh, remote guard would want access. So the uh, live feeds uh, would be uh, up to 64 streams from these sites, and that would result in a high bandwidth usage. So next slide is uh, representing a 3DI platform in its entirety. It's designed for multi-site and multi-brand deployments and offers uh, customary features of uh, uh, an enterprise-grade video management software with advanced analytical add-ons. The analytics uh, is developed in-house and is native to our cloud VMS. For example, you can simply activate behavior-based loitering analytics rolled out just this year, or cloud-based uh, license plate recognition, or fire and smoke detection on any camera connected to your account. So now I'm handing it over to Duncan, who works with this platform daily, and we'll go over the scenarios of how he leverages 3DI pure cloud in combination with mile-side cameras in a limited connectivity environment to great success. Over to you, Duncan. Take it away. Thanks, Catherine. So um, just a little bit about me. I'm uh, as a board uh, certified physical security professional and the director at MGI. Um, MGI is a malsite and 3DI solution provider and distributor for Western Canada. And we've been working in the security, or I've been working in the security industry and video monitoring industry for more than 10 years, um, security, security industry for more than 25, actually. Um, go ahead, uh, Alex, to the next slide. Great. So one of the big advantages of MileSite and 3DI is the deep integration. Um, the MileSite cameras um, have the built-in push technology from 3DI, and this allows a plug-and-play um, ability to connect the camera to the cloud. Um, everything is encrypted um, in terms of communication directly from the camera to the cloud, no port forwarding needed, no gateways, no VPN configurations, um, especially with cellular connections and remote sites. This is really important um, because a lot of times getting a public IP address is almost impossible. So that deep integration really helps us um, work with our, a lot of our um, integrators who are trying to do remote video monitoring and allows a very simple um, configuration to connect cameras to the cloud for remote video monitoring. Um, go ahead to the next slide, Alex. Uh, additionally, there's uh, been a lot of work to get a good integration between the cameras um, through the mouse or through the 3DI interface, web interface. You can configure all the camera settings, adjusting uh, image quality, um, video frame rates, uh, bit rates. Um, additionally, there's a uh, full support for two-way audio. Um, which again, for video monitoring, being able to do voice downs is, is uh, really important. Um, PTZ control, including uh, the ability to recall home position, set home position. Um, all the analytics on the camera, um, including basic motion detection, line uh, crossing, tamper, and intrusion are integrated, allowing you to configure those directly from the web interface in 3DI um, and being able to pull those events into the 3DI platform. Additionally, there's some new features coming down the road, which will be the um, edge recording and playback feature uh, into um, the 3DI platform. Additionally, the LPR functionality and some of the mouse site cameras will be integrated in 3DI as well. Uh, one of the really exciting new products, which Alex is going to talk a little bit about later, will be the 4G solar powered cameras, which uh, for any kind of remote sites are going to be a game changer in the future here. Uh, next slide, Alex. So um, one of the features that we've really, um, we really like and that we use a lot on ev for a lot of our customers and our partners is the optimized bandwidth usage. Um, the mouse-like cameras have this unique feature where they can adjust on the fly the frame rate and bit rates of the cameras depending on events. So 
you can set up a camera on a, on a lower bit rate. And then when there's an event triggered, such as a motion event or an intrusion event, it can adjust the frame rate up or the bit rate up. And this allows you to set a really low bit rate when there's no motion or no event, saving bandwidth. And then when there is an actual event, boost that up so you get a nice clear quality image um, that you can use later for forensic investigation. Uh, next slide. So a couple um, little screenshots here. I mean, it's pretty hard to see, but if you see the event stream here is off, you, we have about a uh, 205 kilobit per second average bit rate. And using this more adaptive bit weight control, we've got it down to 82 kilobits per second. So um, that's more than half. So that's using that adaptive bit rate control from site. Now that depends on the amount of motion in a, in a obviously on the video stream, but on average, we're seeing about a, um, you know, 50 to 70% reduction in bit rate using the adaptive bit rate control. Go ahead, Alex. Oh, I guess now I'll probably do my live demo. So um, what I'll do is I'll just share my screen. I got some live video for you guys. Hopefully everyone can see this. So um, we've got a camera here. We set up on this busy road and this is live. So um, we're gonna try this out, see how it works. Uh, zoom in. So you can see right now how it's kind of macro blocked. And as this camera or as this motion comes into the field of view, it's gonna get nice and clear. So that's that adaptive bit rate control. So when it's not seeing any motion, it's gonna to go to a really low bit rate. Um, here you can see where it, jumping up into the 500s. We've got a uh, kind of set up to go max 512 kilobits per second. I don't I don't think we see your screen, Duncan, yet. Oh, you're not seeing it? Oh, OK. No, we're, we're just seeing the uh, use case slide. Yep. Alex, do you have to switch something over on your end? Because it says I'm sharing. Yes, yes, it, now it works. It works now? OK. It's fine. Yeah, it's working now. Yeah. OK, sorry about that, guys. Um. So just have to wait for no motion, but when you see there's mo no motion, it's gonna start macro blocking. You can see right here, it's kind of macro blocking. It's gonna get in those big blocks. And as soon as we get a, a car driving through here, which there should be one soon, it's a busy road. Um, you can see no vehicles now. <laughs> oh, there's a guy walking. So, so this guy here is causing the bit rate to go up. He's going to be in this video field for a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to a recorded piece of video because he's going to be walking for a bit. And you can see here, I don't know if you could, everyone could see that change, but it went from kind of a block. Here you can see the blockiness and then it will boost up and it will get this nice clear video image. So that's how that adaptive bit rate control works. Um, So I don't know, that's about it. You can see, I can leave this play for a bit more, but um, of course, live video is always hard to predict what's gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, I'll pass it off to you, Alex. Okay, th thank you, Duncan. Uh, yeah, thank you, Duncan, for the introduction of the, uh, the integration and also the use cases. Yeah, I believe Duncan will be the very convincing speaker for this topic. So as uh, Duncan, has already mentioned that we do have a one more thing here, which is something that we are going to show you. This is going to be a future that is going to be released, and both our mouse IT team and the 3D IT are working on the integration. So, uh, before talking about the solution, I would like to uh, to uh, uh, describe a, a project scenario that many of you might have already encountered: the remote area, the off grid off grid places. Right? It can be a transportation network, it can be a construction site, a parking lot, rural areas where you have challenges of providing, uh, uh, setting up a server there or providing a, a, a network connectivity or power supply, right? So for, 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 for this kind of, if you do need any light monitoring at these places, you might need a solution that can provide, get rid of the server that can be the best and serverless storage. And at the same time, it has its way to solve the power and network issue. So the solution from our side and 3DI turns out to be using 3DI to manage a new product from our site. So the 3DI will offer its role, uh, will play its role in offering you the serverless storage and this camera 
will have the self-supplied power and network. So it's mainly done by solar panel, uh, battery system, and it's 4G module inside. So this 4G module inside, I'm sorry, this 4G solar power camera is offering you a very good performance with its uh, low power consumption design. It has a very long battery life and it's offering you uh, two different versions available. So we have a CTV version for regular security surveillance. And also we have a AMPR version if you need any uh, less pay recognition to put it on a traffic or somewhere else. Okay. And with the push module available, for the, from the, uh, the camera to connect to 3 f one So e e even you're using a 4G SIM card, you don't have a static IP address, still the connection will be always there, will always be stable. Okay, so that's uh, something that we would like to ask you to stay tuned. If you are really interested in, we also welcome you to send us some uh, inquiries or emails for uh, checking more details, and we'll keep you updated with the process of integration. Okay. So now I'd like to talk about, uh, apart from this uh, solution, I would like to talk about the mount side uh, camera lineup. So uh, first thing first, uh, mount side is a, is a, is a, privately owned, uh, a privately owned company and we do mainly the exporting businesses. All our products are NDA compliance. And besides the 4G solar powered camera we just talked about, we also have uh, two other uh, product, product families. So we have the cameras, for regular video security surveillance, and we have the camera for uh, intelligent traffic management. And some highlights about the uh, Milestone product line. So first thing I, was, I would like to say that the pillar technology of Milestone uh, cameras is AI. We actually uh, incorporate AI technology even from our entry level products. So in, in all, the product line offer you 11 analytics events for security. So that's including the the uh, very uh, the very common like regional events, including the entry, exiting object, abandoned, removed, or loitering intrusion, and also the line related events such as a line crossing, such as uh, people counting based on line crossing, and also for traffic cameras, intelligent traffic cameras, we offer seven analytics events for it. So with the specific model, we'll be able to do some event detection such as over speed, uh, no plate, reverse driving, blacklist, whitelist. If there's any attributes of a vehicle or license plate hit the preset rules. So these are attributes events are all supported under the intelligent traffic cameras. So besides the capability to detect an event, we also have the the detection capability for the objects and the attributes. So that being like a human or vehicle type classification, detection on a face of a fire and smoke, no hard hats, or some more like detailed attributes belong to a vehicle, the model make can color or the license plate. So uh, including the license plate recognition. So again, with this AI capability, so we offer, we push out the uh, events uh, information and also the attributes information so that user can get uh, in-time notification and also can use those attributes for further search. So besides AI, we are also uh, working continually on improving the image. So for the, for the cameras, we offer a wide range of uh, different video specifications of different resolutions, different uh, frame rates. And also in uh, higher-end cameras, we built in the uh, Big sensors, so to uh, to support a starlight night imaging, and we have our own imaging uh, team who's working on uh, the fine tuning of the imaging quality. So we are uh, dedicated in improving the performance with uh, WDR, and also we have the training team who's working on training our own AI ISP to provide a better uh, night image and uh, a better noise reduction in night time. And this is actually an image come from a real camera from a mile size. So if you look at it, this is a 180 degree panoramic camera. So uh, you can see this is actually uh, come from a dual sensor stitching. So the image is stitched by two separate uh, video frames from two separate lenses. So, but again, you can see about the colors, about the detail with this image is really a uh, true live performance. And besides the image, we uh, mouse side also have our own like design languages for the cameras. So the first thing I'd like to mention is that 
for, for the majority of our cameras are built into aluminum housing. So that's the actual quality that you can feel when you put it on your hand. Besides that, the camera is with a very solid uh, quality protection, including the like uh, IP67 or IP10 in our uh, from our entry level and supporting a, a, a decent working temp temperature range from minus uh, 40 Celsius to 60 Celsius degree and also surge protection for 5,000 volts. And if we talk about the design, so we also have the three axis design that you can adjust the uh, the camera angle uh, during installation and also the junction box help you to hide the tails if you think that's not uh, cosmetic and also the clamshell design to uh, enable you make maintain the piece in an easier model uh, in an easier manner so to talk about uh, the detail series i would like to mention a few of our star series the first of it is the PEZ camera series. As you can see, we offer uh, two bullets and two dome styles from, for our PEZ series, and the highest end is our speed dome. And from, for these PEZ cameras, we are offer optical zoom level from five times to 42 times with a decent uh, pan and tilt speed. And in our speed dome, we also use an industrial leading uh, motor that will support very accurate uh, move motion. So the horizontal accuracy was less than 0, 0 0.1 degree. So if you try, if you are traveling from different presets to your home position, you don't have a big deviation out of it. And for all the PDC cameras, we also offer a rich for AI uh, video analytics events, including the standard uh, video content and content analysis and intrusion counting and base detection and hard hat detection. And for PDC cameras, of, of course, we also offer those PDC related good features, including the PDC auto checking. So it will check the human or vehicle to always center it in your in, in the center of the video frame. And also we support a PDC privacy mask. And next, I would like to talk about the panoramic camera series. So we do have the single sensor panoramic camera, which is a very traditional and class of uh, Classic. So we do have one uh, 360 fisheye and two single lens 180 degree panoramic camera. They are widely used in a uh, retail scenario in school or hotel lobby or somewhere. Okay. But for those partners who really believe in panoramic monitoring, they need a better image, a more true to life image. That's some innovation that we do this year is that we launched this dual sensor camera. So this camera is offering you one 8 megapixel stream merged by two separate four megapixel streams. But the image stitching we call the Fusion Experts is giving a very good performance in dismissing the discrepancies between the color and the brightness between the two sensors. So after, uh, in the, at the end of the day, this one's giving you only one stream, but you look like you just made from one piece. So this is very good also to use in any open spaces that you need like a parking lot where you need a more a true to life detail instead of being distorted. Right. And in this fourth quarter this year, we're going to launch our multi-sensor camera, which is going to be a four sensor camera with four uh, independent lenses. They each have their adjustable views. Again, this one is going to offer you like four separate streams, no stitching, but for all the four separate streams, you can manage the video content analysis, events analysis uh, by their own. So, so this is very easy for you to put it to an intersection if you want to have a separate monitoring at different direction or put it at the building corner. So uh, for the intelligent traffic cameras, we offer like three different series to cover the needs for uh, different usages. We have the cameras used on the road. We have the road traffic camera including like the radar style that it can detect also the speed of a vehicle and also the 4G solar power traffic sensing camera, which is capturing camera only giving snapshots of vehicles passes by this camera. And also we have the parking detection on the road. If there's any illegal parking, it will be able to detect it. So all these road traffic uh, can give uh, also support a very uh, good uh, range of uh, detection of the license plate at different speed. But higher end, we have the Traffic X camera series, which is able to detect up to 260 
I'm sorry, 250 kilometers per hour speed license plate recognition. And as you can see, this camera is also with two, two lenses. So one lens will be used for the capturing of a, of a vehicle or of a license plate, and the other one can be used for the capturing of the overall view image so that you can have the evidence for the whole violation events. And then we have the cameras used for parking management. So we have the camera for the entrance and exit. We have a camera for parking guidance. And through, throughout all these cameras, license plate recognition is a standard function. But besides that, these cameras have the capability to uh, analyze and detect the detailed attributes for the vehicle or for the license plate. And as mentioned, they have the capability to also detect the different events happening on the road, any violation. Yeah, so I think these uh, cameras can also be good to use to uh, push all the necessary information to a uh, like traffic related system for better monitoring of what's happening. Okay, so that's uh, around, I'm sorry. So that's about the uh, highlights of the Monosign uh, basic product line and the features. So uh, now it comes to the uh, Q&A session. So if you have any like address question, just you can just like put it to the Q&A session and we'll be able to address them verbally. So that's going to be five minutes. Mm, there was a prior posted question, Alex, uh, just to get the audience warmed up um, on the 4G uh, solar powered camera. Can you talk a little bit about it when it's available and Okay, so the 4G solar power uh, panel is, I'm sorry, the 4G, uh, 4G solar power uh, cameras. So right now it's still, we are having uh, like some of the final testing and the pilot run within the uh, within the factory. So I believe that optim optimistically it's going to be launched uh, in somewhere in the October. That'd be the, the most ideal. And uh, at the same time, this uh, for the 4G solar power cameras, we are offering you a very flexible uh, options of shipments. Like if you need only the camera or if you need the the, the uh, battery only for the supplementation or you need a solar panel, these are like uh, independently shippable. Yeah, and for this camera, we have two versions. So if you do, can use it on the road, you can choose the AMPR version and if you put it at the border or any like, uh, perimeter for the uh, uh, surveillance of the, uh, for the security surveillance, you can choose the uh, video surveillance version. Yep, that, there, are, there are some questions uh, uh, popping up. Uh, can I have a recording after this webinar? Yes, it will be distributed to all of the participants. Um, question, any full color camera? Uh, Alex, it's to you. I yeah, so, uh, yeah, Th thanks for the question. So for now, we do have a, a camera series we call the Color Plus. So it's it's indeed a, a camera that was built with a bigger aperture and a bigger sensor. But next year, we're actually going to uh, launch another uh, a color, uh, color Plus camera that's going to be a, a new innovation to the to the original the traditional style. So it's going to use, uh, e because the original Color Plus camera series still need to utilize a uh, white lights in the night to get a colorful picture. But for the next release, which we supposedly need to be next year, the new Color Plus series is going to use a really, really nighttime bigger sensor and aperture and bigger aperture. So it can achieve a, a colorful image even with low lights without any uh, supplementation of the white lights or warm lights. Yeah, so just stay tuned. We'll keep you updated with that uh, uh, releasing of new product. Mm -hmm. Question from uh, Matt, uh, are the speed detection events and license plate detection events fully compatible with 3DI? Yeah, we are working with uh, 3DI uh, seamlessly on the license plate uh, uh, integration. So we are pushing the, the license plate uh, data to 3DI. So I think this feature, uh, we, have, we have been working with the team, this feature could be ready uh, by September. All right, I see no more questions that are left. Uh, the rest have been answered uh, in writing by our colleagues. 
go okay. over, I guess, to the quiz and uh, you you always okay, yeah. Read. Let's just center the quiz, okay? Yeah, I think uh, everyone has been waiting for uh, uh, this part. So, uh, first, I would I would like to disclose that will be the prices here, okay? So, for all the cameras, it's going to be uh to be uh ship along with a thirty days free trial with with uh, uh a three day platform. So, we have for the camera part, the first prize will be a LPR PDZ bullet camera. One piece. We have one winner for this, and we have two winners for the second prize. One eighty degree panoramic camera, and again, it's also uh, bonded with a thirty days free trial from three DI. And the third prize will be a fixed lens turret, three pieces. So altogether, we have six winners today for the each of the. Uh, I'm sorry for all the prizes. Okay, so uh, just to, just so you know that uh, this is a wide area, right? So in a moment, I will push up all the question or three questions in this wide area. So everyone, you can just use still use the Q&A session just to submit your question, the answers to each question in the sequence of the questions, okay? So the one who was submitted the fattest and with the correct, uh, the fastest and also with the correct answers will get the prize. And we'll, the prize will be also delivered from the prize one, the third, uh, the first prize to, to, to the third prize in the sequence of your submission, okay? Now, just let's go. I will push up the questions. Okay, what would you use to create a cloud enabled mile side cameras? That's the first question. The second question are mile side cameras NDA compliant? The third question uh, the image stitching technology is used in which mile side cameras below? Yeah, I can see the answer has been popping up. We do have the very active participants. So yeah, yeah, three answers together. You don't need to uh, separate them in different uh, text. And also you don't need to write the sequence number or anything, just the answer, A or B. And my colleague is helping me uh, uh, checking like, who is the winner for the moment, but do that to you all. Okay, so I got the winner for the for the first prize. Uh, okay, congrats to uh, Jake McDonald from uh, Rick Star. Congrats, you are the first winner for the first prize from Canada. Congratulations, Jake. What is the first prize, uh, Alex? The first prize is going to be the LPR uh, uh, PDC bullet. Sounds great. Yeah. And now we are disclosing the second prize is going to be a 180 degree panoram a panoramic camera. So there's going, going to be two winners for the second prize. Okay, I got the uh, uh, Sammy Faisal and John uh, Osborne. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. John uh, Osbert. Okay, uh, congratulations for winning the second prize. Okay, so we are still going uh, to get uh, three winners for the third prize. Uh, Hayden Casas. Okay, you are the first winner for the third prize and still we got two left. The third prize is going to be a fixed turret. Okay, uh, Tyler Shepard, congrats. You are the third prize winner, the second one. Okay, let's uh, dispose of the last one for the third prize, the fixed turret.
you know, keep it in central. Just a good. Okay, so the so the uh, last one for the third uh, prize is Ian Stewart. Congrats. Okay, yeah, I can we can do can see a lot of uh, correct answers here, but yeah, for for those who didn't get the prize, uh, it's very unfortunate that you are not the best fastest who are uh, submitting these questions. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, in the in the further following up in all in the further con content uh, further communications, you can still reach out to the sales team from either uh, my side or three DI. I believe we can offer you if you really uh, are asking any any demo samples for testing or anything. We do also have a very uh, Good offer for you. Okay, so uh, yeah, so again, congratulations to the winners for the quiz with the prizes. So our sales representative will from both uh, BioSign and Three Day will contact you via email and provide you uh, to confirm with you the details of how we should deliver the prize to you. And we also like upload uh, the recording of uh, this section uh, to YouTube and or share the. The download uh show the link via emails that you can rewatch it that at your convenience. Okay. And then additionally, we also send uh, uh presentation slides to you in PDF uh, PDF format. Okay. So again, uh thank you all for attending today's webinar. Uh we hope you found that this session is uh informative and and engaging. And more importantly, I, I hope you found the, the, the product solution that can actually help your business, especially if you are deploying any like cloud video surveillance solution. Okay. Uh, we'd like to extend our congratulations to the winners again. And thank you all for the participants for the supporting of this webinar. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thank and you, thank you Catherine, Catherine and Duncan for our support supporting as a guest speaker. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.